in this video we will understand about the law of constant proportions what do you mean by a law of constant proportion this law of constant proportion is also known as law of definite proportions now we know that a compound is what compound is basically formed of various elements element 1 element 2 element 3 let's say for example you may have one glass of water you may have one bucket of water you may have a container of water or you may have the entire sea which comprises of nothing else but water so there is some amount of water here there is some amount of water here the container may have its own level of water which could be anything and the sea definitely is completely filled of water now what does this law of constant proportions say proportions i believe you must be understanding what the meaning of proportions is it's the relative quantity of one to the other so if there are suppose two items x and y what is a proportion proportion means basically x divided by y whatever is the answer you say that the proportion of x and y is let's say it is 3 is to 2 so this is what is proportion you must have done a lot about this in your mathematics so basically what the law of constant proportion says is that let's say water is written as h2o so you have hydrogen and you have oxygen so what is comprised of these two elements okay now in a compound which is water we were talking about compound the element one is hydrogen the element two is oxygen so the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen in water is 1 is to 8 by mass now what does this mean let's say the glass contains 90 gram mass this is let's say 900 gram mass this is let's say 9000 grams and let's say this is 90000 grams now the law of constant proportion says that whatever be the quantity of the compound whether it be 90 whether it be 900 whether it be 9000 or whether it be 90000 whatever be the quantity of the compound the proportion of hydrogen and oxygen by mass will always be 1 is to 8 now what does this mean let me just kind of create some more space this means that if the total mass is 90 g then the hydrogen is basically 1 is to 8 that's the ratio or rather 1 upon 9 is the mass of hydrogen how do you do that 1 upon 1 plus 8 you must have done this in proportion and this is 8 upon 9 of the so if there is 9 g of water out of that 1 g will be hydrogen and 8 g will be oxygen okay so what the law of proportion says is that if this is 90 g then hydrogen will be 10 g and oxygen will be 80 g meaning that the ratio is 1 is to 8 oxygen will always be 8 times of hydrogen if it is 900 g this will be 
this will be 800. For 9000, it's going to be 1000 and 8000. If it is 90,000 gram, it has to be 10,000 and 80,000 gram. And this is true for every compound. I mean, we've taken the example of water, but if you take any other compound as well, the law of constant proportion remains the same, which means that for every particular gram of one item, the other has to remain proportionate. Just because there is an increase in the quantum in all these cases, that would not distort this proportion. 